Well, Crofton's high school's football team is benched for a few games after a number of players were deemed ineligible. WMER 2 News' Nordea Lewis is here now to explain what happened and how this will impact their season. Nordea? Uh, yeah, Kelly, unfortunately, their wins are turning into losses, and it's going to cost them a few games. Set. The team will forfeit five varsity and two junior varsity football games over two seasons due to the participation of players deemed to be ineligible. Set. Set. The school system made the decision after discovering multiple students in two unrelated matters were involved. I'm a little upset. I mean, I don't know who didn't know this for two years. Chris Wall is the parent of a junior who plays football at Crofton High School. He says the news of ineligible players costing the team to forfeit games is a hard pill to swallow. He, along with many other parents, don't understand how this matter went unnoticed. All the kids have worked hard. They've busted their butts since the middle of summer, getting good grades, doing what they're supposed to be doing, and, you know, just feel really bad for them. According to the public school system, the decision means the Cardinals will forfeit four varsity games and one junior varsity game in the current season and one varsity game and one junior varsity game in the 2021-2022 season. One parent who wanted to remain anonymous expressed how this should have never happened and they hope kids will learn from it. It is inappropriate to have just to win a football game that you put children's lives in jeopardy, their futures in jeopardy. I'm happy that they're shining a light on it because in other aspects, it will allow them to be held accountable and know that, hey, if I do this or if I try and sneak, eventually it's going to be, you know, called out. Here we go, get a break. School officials won't say the number of players involved or state the reasons for their ineligibility, although it can range from players' age, academics, or behavior. But all in all, officials believe the team will overcome the setback. One of the lessons of athletics is dealing with adversity, and so certainly there's adversity there uh, now for this team to overcome. It is also important to understand that the varsity team is still eligible to compete in the postseason. This does not alter that. While it does change their record and will change their playoff seating, they are still eligible to participate. And any student athlete involved or ineligible to participate in sports activities for at least 60 days. And hey, if you want more information, we have the full letter on our website, WMAR2news.com.